Hey guys, uh, just wanted to do a quick video, kind of um, going over some of the comments and stuff that I got on uh, the uh, the hood vents, and I wanted to explain a little bit more uh, about what I was trying to explain in the last video because I think uh, I made it confusing. Probably, you know, my ADD kicked in, and um, I probably probably didn't uh, make everything as clear as I <laughs> was trying to say. So. Um, yeah, so the the main concern I guess that a lot of you guys had was that I was going to remove these hood vents and like have a version that didn't have them or something, and that's not the idea at all. Uh, the main thing is to, it's really more about the process of making the mold. So, you know, the idea is to have this flat. Like, well, I guess first let me say that I'm going to probably take a mold of these vents so that I'll have these as like a backup for testing and as like a starter base uh, for later but um, you know back back to the hood I'll end up covering this area up smoothing it all out making it you know real nice and smooth and, and you know correct and contoured you know great and all that good stuff and then um, I'll take a I'll do I'll build a mold of this whole body right and it'll, and it'll be like a uh, um, like a like a multi-piece mold and I know this may not make a lot of sense because it's really difficult to explain the process but the uh, you know the molds like um, will be in a couple different sections so this side of the fender you know wrapped around to the front would be one piece the other side would be another piece and then the center would be another piece and it kind of bolts together with these seams that would go along you know just wherever I need it and what that does is it allows me to pull the parts um, off the master mold uh, easier and more easily I guess and then by having like say the center section as a separate uh, piece to the mold itself then I can just unbolt it pop this piece off and put in another piece that has the vents in it um, in the correct location so I could have like separate pieces that are just for the center section and it would bolt into this main mold uh, of the hood and that way when you go to lay up the part um, whether it's uh, carbon fiber or some kind of you know fiberglass composite of some sort then it would all be one piece and you won't lose any you know structural issues and and th these uh, vents won't really be like a an add-on piece so to speak you know so you're not gonna have like a seam around it and it's not gonna be bonded to the car it'll all be built with the main hood and so I hope that helps to explain that <laughs> um, and then you know on top of that the the hood itself and underneath on the back side of the hood will have like a, a ribbing structure uh, just like if you open up the hood to your car you'll see like this uh, this type of you know ribbing you know metal structure to the hood that helps support it so it's not so flimsy and floppy this will have it too and it'll also help to clean up the underside of the hood and make it look nice while you know supporting it and keeping it uh, nice and strong so I hope that kind of explains what uh, I was trying to say yesterday <laughs> and let you guys know that I'm not removing the vents and there's not going to be a version that's like vent list or anything like that um, it, they're going to be there and you know by by having that center section that's removable uh, then that'll allow me to adjust this based on what we do with the chassis and the engine and all that stuff so anyway that's that's about it just kind of wanted to clear that up uh, and everything and um, and then next I want to kind of show you about the uh, uh, dash and everything so let me show you that in a sec. Alright guys so here's the uh, the dash and in one of the previous videos I was talking about doing this little knife bladed accent piece on the side so what I did is I went ahead and um, remade the part out of like uh, some quarter inch MDF so I could get a better idea of you know how it would look if it was made out of a aluminum because that's going to be about the right thickness and you know there was a lot of concerns about safety and what would happen if you hit it and all this other stuff and um, I don't think it's that uh, you know dramatic that it would cause a big major safety issue but after doing it 
um, I've decided that I really don't like the way that it's, it looks and you guys are probably all agreeing <laughs> right now so uh, and that's fine um, but I think I'm going to have a piece similar to this and make it more of a uh, uh, accent piece that's that's not sticking up as high and it's a little bit more inset into the dash uh, and and stuff like that so that will probably make it a little cleaner and it definitely won't be a safety issue at that point uh, and it will help you know kind of create this center console that I'm look that I'm trying to go after and um, one other thing that you guys are probably seeing also is this uh, crazy handle thing that I put in <laughs> so that was something I talked about and it's something I've seen in a lot of other cars uh, in recently in some newer cars and then like you know if you guys look at the Carrera GT there's always like this this like oh my god handle that's put right there and um, and that's great and I thought I could maybe incorporate it in some interesting way because I like the concept but I think I'm on the dash and the way that it is and the thickness of the aluminum and you know there's not really a great, great way to support that so I'm just going to not do that at all so uh, that is coming off and I'm not going down that road and I'll just make it you know that the slimmer um, trim line or trim piece of that, uh, that I was talking about so it will look just like this side and I think eventually um, part of the chassis will have a uh, part of the roll bars or, or I guess uh, structural I don't know bar that will end up coming down uh, from this area to, and kind of to the floorboard and that piece right there I could probably wrap uh, and make that into a, like an interesting handle or something so um, yeah so I just trying to clear up a few things that I've done in some of the videos because I've been doing uh, videos more uh, regularly now and that's good so I'm gonna try to do a video a day maybe who knows so uh, yeah and then also some people have wondered like this whole little structure that I have this dash on <laughs> uh, this is like a, a frame I don't think I really covered this before that I, that I built to hold the dash and like I can carve the clay and I just throw it back here and it actually falls down into a, a little catch bin made out of cardboard so that uh, kind of helps me save the clay and it doesn't get all over my floor because uh, it makes a mess once it gets on the floor. So anyway, hope that uh, answers some questions and clears up you know some of the, these design things that I'm uh, dealing with. And you know I like posting these questions to you guys because you know it's not just a one-off car or just my car that I'm putting together this this car is for you know you guys essentially to be able to own one day and I like getting real user feedback on uh, you know some of the ideas that I'm coming up with and help steer me in the the right direction that would make it a popular car and something you know maybe a classic who knows so <laughs> uh, I, I, you know whatever but uh, but anyway so I do like all your feedback and all your comments and appreciate uh, er everything that you guys uh, comment on so anyway I'll uh, see you in the next video make sure you uh, subscribe and like the videos all right I'll see you guys later